Hey guys, what's going on? So it's another motivational Monday. Uh, I'm currently out in my backyard. You can hear the water park in the backyard and kids playing and uh, having an evening cocktail. And my beautiful wife having hers, making us a wonderful dinner. So what I wanted to talk about today is uh, are you doing any self-improvement? And what brings this up, aside from everything else, is there's so much negativity out there right now. Like, everything is negative. It's ridiculous. Like, we've got the presidential debate, we have the Black Lives Matter, and the, and the police brutality, and we, and we have, you know, the wars going on in Syria, and and just everything is tear, on teardown mode. Like, everyone's after each other. Everything is negative. And then... The thing is, is that even if you're not a part of that, like, your friends and family and stuff have opinions on certain things, and then, you know, you want to post things, you know, supporting or not supporting or whatever the case may be, and the next thing you know, you have a, a, a intellectual battle with somebody, and a lot of times people aren't ed really educated on the, on the subject or the matter or anything, and if you do have someone who is educated that you're in an intellectual battle with then the thing is that it gets so heated and then it gets personal and then emotions get involved and then and then it's no fun uh, I, I love having intellectual battles with people but the problem is like I said they take it too personally if you're capable of holding an adult conversation and having those intellectual political whatever battles and you can harness and remember to realize that everyone is authorized their own opinion. It's the great thing about the free world that we have all fought for and, and our heroes have fought for. And, you know, the people that I've gotten to be alongside and, and you know, the people that, you know, I want to try to support is the people who, regardless of what your opinion is whatsoever, I support the people who fight and I'm a part of that collective being that allows you to have that opinion. And that's what I'm trying to remember, remind myself of. Instead of getting into too many battles of, you know, what I believe in, none of that matters. What matters is that I believe that it is a wonderful time and age that you are able to think and feel and believe in whatever you want with respect towards the other person and that's the problem the problem is, is that no one has respect for the fact that the other person is allowed to have that because we fought for that we bled for that we died for that so what I want to talk about is are you personally growing what are you doing to personally grow because that is what you can control a lot of us can't control what's going on right now. A lot of us can't really do anything to impact the mass that's going on right now. Uh, regardless of what you believe in, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to get into any of that. I don't want to be a part of that. Like I said, what I believe in and what I fought for is the fact that you are able to have your own individual thought and belief. And that needs to be respected. So, today, talking about personal growth, what are you doing to personally grow? So, I wanted to share something with you uh, that some friends of mine have put together, and it has really kind of helped me pull out of that slump a little bit, and remember to focus on myself, my family, my business, and in turn, what that does is that trickles down. It has a trickle-down effect. When you are personally growing and you are personally moving forward that reflects and when that reflects it kind of becomes contagious and everyone around you will pick that up as long as you stay focused and stay motivated to do that so what is it that you're doing to personally grow are you reading books are you watching tapes you know uh, i was watching the landscaping employee trap today i uh, love keith keith's an awesome dude um you know he talked about that you know, are you growing personally in that that positive mindset, especially with it? Uh, it's it's already what a couple days into fall now, and we are slowing down. 
uh, any all of us who are in lawn care and landscaping oh not necessarily landscaping but the lawn care portion for sure uh, you know we're slowing down and there, it's okay are you being diverse and are you growing are you growing your business are you doing doing certain things you know key talks about he's, he does uh, window cleaning and stuff like that something I was doing today I'm doing research is I have a couple of clients who want me to do some fencing things you know I never thought about doing fencing but why not it's it's something that else that I can do to to bring in more income while things are slowing down so why not grow why not expand that's what we need to do. If you own a business, even if you don't own a business, you need to look for those opportunities. And that brings me back to a kind of a completed circle here. If you're focusing on the negative things that are going on in the world and you're not personally growing, then you're not looking for the opportunities that could land right in front of you. Something so simple as a fencing job. Oh, I'm just, I gotta figure out how to do my, my lawn care thing. Okay, well, it's slowing down. You're not going to cut grass all year. It's not going to happen. Even down here, uh, maybe down in Florida. Florida, California, hey, all you guys. You know, I know I got some followers in Puerto Rico. Hey, maybe you guys do. That's awesome. Uh, but here in Tennessee, there's going to be a couple months where we're not cutting grass, uh, especially up north. I'm originally from southern Michigan, northern Indiana. Uh, you know, my wife's from Kansas. There's definitely going to be times that we're not going to cut grass. So why not look to expand? Maybe you land into something that'll get you into something that you actually enjoy more. Maybe, maybe the lawn care thing is something that brings you to the opportunity that you find out later on. Hey, this is really my calling. This I really enjoy this. I had no clue at all. Um, I thought about the same thing uh, the lawn care with the lawn care. I, I never thought I don't care to cut grass at all. I and then I started this business using it as an excuse to buy. New toys so I didn't have to cut grass, you know, so much with a push mower. And then I was like, you know what, this is really relaxing. This is kind of fun. It's very gratifying. Uh, why not? So, are you looking to grow? So, something that helped me get out of this hole, and what I wanted to share with you for this Motivational Monday, is some friends of mine, Sean Cooper and Bill Faudel, they created this book. It's called Stamp Your Man Card. So, what the book is about is it explains kind of the lack of, of what we have in society today and you know what should be a man uh, what should be just a person who is contributing to their own self-growth that should know certain things and they lay down a base for you on what should be expected and they do a very good job it's very well versed and then they have an entire list of things that you have either already accomplished or you want to accomplish or things that you have not even thought of yet to accomplish to help you personally grow and stamp your man card. This isn't just for men, it's for you know women, for anybody, but it's a very simple, basic foundation read. It's only about like a chapter to lay down the, the ground rules of, of what it is. And then you go into this whole list of things, and it's fantastic. And the reason why I'm falling in love with this book so much is that what it does is sometimes we get so caught up in what we're doing that we forget about the things we've already accomplished in life. And this has been a great reminder to me of things that I've already accomplished in life. And sometimes you need to reflect on that. Be proud of who you are. Be proud of the things that you have accomplished. And then utilize that as motivation to move forward and accomplish new and greater things. So it's pretty pretty cool. So, um, like, for instance, where are we at here? Uh, swim at the Sharks. That's something I've never done. Uh, but, you know, pretty cool idea. Please? Um, Please? That one's worth 145 points. I, I, I will... <laughs> I will volunteer. Bungee jumping is 10 points. Haven't done that, but we've done skydiving. Bench, bench or squat, bench and squat half of your body weight. That's worth 75 points. Yep, nailed it. Uh, <laughs> ski or snowboard, that's one of them. Join the, join the military, fire department, or police department. That's worth 500 points. Wow. Join a service or an organization. Uh, you don't have to trek off the third world country and earn these points. You can find an organization close to home and help help out with it participate in four events 
or spend six months helping out and get these points so you may find or really enjoy improving the lives of other people like and that's worth 80 points those are those are awesome that's awesome stuff right there you know to help motivate you to do things um, shave with a safety razor <laughs> shave with a straight razor <laughs> Know the rules of craps. Remember your mom's birthday. That's worth 10 points. <laughs> That's in the relationships category. Uh, split or chop logs with an axe. That's worth 25 points. Mow the lawn. <laughs> That's worth one point. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I have not yet completed going through these lists and, and stamping my man card, so I can't give you a point value. But that's the great thing about it is things you've already accomplished and things that you want to accomplish and are going to accomplish and things that you don't know that you may want to accomplish, it's all listed in there. And it gives you a point value system to kind of place and give yourself, I wouldn't say a value, everyone, you know, everyone should be worth the most amount to themselves but it gives you an idea of what you've already accomplished and it's a fantastic fantastic book so check it out by sean cooper and bill faudel how to stamp your man card uh great friends of mine and i totally support this book absolutely 100 percent and uh, i absolutely love it so anyways hope you guys had a fantastic weekend hope you had a great monday hope you're having a great start to your week if you're not not a big deal don't let this slow you down you can still pull out of it and keep on trucking guys so we will see you next monday Love you guys. By the way, thank you guys so much for all your support. We're over 620 subscribers now, over 77,000 views, and you guys motivate the hell out of us, and we appreciate it. So thank you guys so much, and we will catch you next Monday. Later.